Yes, they can hear us. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Friday. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. We're back once again, broadcasting at 60 frames a second, so make sure you're watching at 60. Oh no, we don't want that. Cats biting each other. <laughs> oh, On Splendid camera. Nut heard you. Yep. Look, I hear I whispering. <laughs> I know. That what you didn't Darcy. get, it was was the dirty look I got in the shush finger. <sighs> Hush. But be quiet. Exactly. Um, Apparently just... all the time in the past, I've just by chance been quiet enough not to be <laughs> reprimanded for it. But this yes. time I was like, oh, yes. I saw him turn the mic on. I was like, I, to... I couldn't resist. Because <laughs> right. I have to at some point turn the mic on before I do that. So I'm not like clicking buttons. And between that time, Darcy talks. <laughs> it is thing Darcy. I do. <laughs> it is a thing that I do. <laughs> um, so uh, this is where we play uh, new games on classic consoles. And we're going to play two games today. Oh. Um, because one is very involved, and I want to beat it. Ah, yes. Beat it. Deep Stone, Deep Stone Catacomb. Um, it's an know. RPG. Yeah, none of the biting. No, none of the biting. <laughs> nice kitties. There. Can they see that? Yeah. Oh, they can? <laughs> <laughs> um, and we're going to try for a patch... On an old school game, Mega Mania, and I played Mega Mania a lot, so it is very achievable. Okay. I think it's going to happen. Um, so I want to thank everybody who's here today, who's chatting in the chat. Um, I'm always tempted to say IRC, because <laughs> that's like the old school way of chatting on the internet. That's like the first chats. Uh, Ground Trooper, Thrust 26, Splendid Nut, Phil Sand 69, Ice Bosta, Ninfanium 69, a lot of 69s here, RC7E, uh, and everybody, oh, Le, 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 Le McAllister, Le McAllister, Le, Le <laughs> uh, Dan AVC, I don't know if I said that, and uh, also, I want to, and everybody else who is just watching, oh, Impaler, Impaler 26, 26, snuck it I was in, just gonna say. snuck it in the last <laughs> second. Uh, ground Trooper? Oh, two people. Um, and I want to thank everybody who subscribes, and especially Ground Trooper, who just renewed theirs for the 11th month. Wow, They're nice. almost at that 12-month uh, fancy, reflective ZPH. Oh, that's uh, exciting. New little icon that was added recently. I want to thank the Twitch subscribers, Gretem's Ground Trooper. Uh, Johnny WC23, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strum, RC7E, Repentless VG, Retro Happy Hour, Scum Software, Sir Cat Legs, Spiceware, S. Ramirez2008, and Tiki Dan K. All those people. It's wonderful 14 people that are helping out the show. And you can too, for free, if you have Amazon Prime, which a lot of people in the US, I think, do. And you can Canada. Uh, and link it to your Twitch Prime account and click subscribe. And magically, you get little icons beside your name. Magically. And it's free if you have Amazon Prime. If you're already paying for it. If you're already paying for it, it's free. <laughs> <laughs> That's the catch. That's if right. you're already paying for it, it is actually The more free. you pay, the more you save. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's like free money, really. <sighs> <laughs> so we got Boulder Dash yesterday, open, or Wednesday, um, opened it up on the show. I'll talk a little bit more about that. Yeah. Um, there's the cartridge. I did show it at the sh on the show last day. Oh, you can take a look at it. This is a coveted um, game that you cannot buy anymore. Yeah. Sold out a long time ago. It was limited release. Um, made by uh, Andrew Davey and Thomas Yentz, uh, and who is Thrust26 in the chat. <laughs> yeah. Darcy Explosion. <laughs> um, so there's the manual. There's the box. So open was it, it first made in '84 and then revamped in 2012? Yes. Is that what happened? Okay. Yes. So it was originally made in '84 for yes. a bunch of um, platforms, including the C64, which I played it on a little bit um, back in the '80s. But I didn't play it a lot, so it's very. It'll still be very fresh and new to me because um, Thomas said in the chat earlier that the levels are all the original levels. Um, that were in the 80s, so that will be a lot of fun. So they're not spoiled for me. They're all going to be brand new. Nice. And um, very limited amount of these were made, and this was made before I was really heavy into the homebrew scene. Huh. So I missed it, 
But nice. thanks to Andrew Davy and Thomas Yentz and Al Yeruso from Atari Age, they have been able to find me a copy nice. that I can play it on the show finally. Sweet. Because there is no um, binary version of this. There's ah. a there's a demo, <clears throat> and this is an officially licensed game. By First Star Software, so there's very tight controls right, right. over what can be distributed, right? Um, so I was not able to play it because I didn't want to play the two-level demo. I wanted to play the actual game on the show, right? <laughs> yeah. And the two-level demo is hard. Like the levels they included are mm. like really, really, really hard. So there's no ramp up right, to right. it. Right, right. There's no. So uh, I'm like, ah, death, learning death, phase. death everywhere. <laughs> it was, <laughs> it was too much, and I wanted to show off. Um, all the levels and the hard work that Andrew Davey and Thomas Yance put into it. Um, so, uh, we don't have a lot of news today. I mean, it happens. Nothing happened between Wednesday and Friday. <laughs> Not a whole bunch. Um, and nothing to open because I didn't check the mail. But usually there's, I mean, I just open something. Um, so we're going to just jump right into the first game. Deep Stone Catacomb. It's an RPG. Zelda-like. Scaled down. Um, and Darcy gets first play. Oh, good. And uh, we got pretty far. I, I think you <clears> saw <throat> this game in the 12-hour uh, marathon. Um, and Erlen got pretty far in it. He defeated the third dragon. Right, but then right. I remember that one. But then there's another guy that came right after him, another boss, and killed him immediately. And that was a game over. So we that's, were all very sad. We were very sad because he was doing so well. Uh, I missed it also, but lucked into one last year at a price. Yeah, those go for about two fifty US on eBay. So oh, they're wow. not uh, inexpensive. They are very coveted um, because of the limited amounts of them. And that's what happens. That's what happens. Uh, so I did not press the button. Oh, oh okay. I didn't need to. Okay. Are you good? Press the button. Go down. No. Nope. Nope. Right now, uh, yay! Oh, no. Okay, so let's switch over to Deep Stone Catago, which is an amazing game, unbelievable. Made by McNews. That looks really good. Oh yeah, the title screen's really, really good. And you know, we haven't even beat level one, so we have to beat level one first before we get to two or three. Um, so let's do level one. And this is a brand new version. He just passed me. Ah, so, uh, updates, yep, point four, and it, I love it when they put the version number on the title screen so that you don't get um, what happens no if mistakes. I go on without the sword? Uh, you'll probably die. Can you but, shoot anything? Can you do anything? No, no. you'll die. You'll just but, run into things. But does the sword go away? You'd be playing it on uh, hard mode. Actually, oh, does this? No, I guess it doesn't. No, cat. All right, the thing sword. is, you... But now I don't have an excuse. The... Can you not claw the carpet and the furniture, please? Thank you. Um, what would happen, possibly, if you avoided the sword? Eventually, you would run into a room mm -hmm. that... I could not get out of. You could not get out of. Locked, yeah. And you would die. And you'd be sent back. And if that was on level two, I think you'd just be screwed for the rest of the game. <laughs> But it is interesting that that's an option to not get the sword. Oh, your water bottles are blocking the chat, and I can't see that, so I don't know what... Oh, there we They're go. They're sealed, so... Okay. Mm, that's better. Well, I'll move the other one after... Okay. Scorpion. Death. Uh, I okay. I haven't died yet. So this one uh, was passed over to me four days ago. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you haven't I died yet. I mean, I... I have taken lots of damage. Yes, but you did get uh, a small meal did. <laughs> to revitalize yourself. Uh, so this fir was first put out May 22nd, 2019. This one is from four days ago. Why do we not go down the stairs immediately? F right now there is... Oh, there's a cat there. There's no reason to not go down the stairs immediately. Okay. <laughs> But you might do it for health or... Yes. Or, or lives. Lives. Um, because, especially on the early levels, because they're easier, right? So is there any point in me killing that apart from points? No, because there is no secret rooms. Oh, I but believe. I might get 
health, but I'm yeah, pretty full health right now. You're pretty full. I probably wouldn't bother. Yep, there you go. That's how you do it. Because killing them doesn't open new doors. Only, only when the it's existing a, ones. Only existing ones that were closed off when you entered the room. <clears throat> so this game is not available yet to the public. So this is your number one resource for Deep Stone Catacomb. <laughs> you keep banging into them. You I always to, do. You have to they're stay... They come at me. They're, yeah. they're like, bro, I'm coming at you. And I'm all like, okay, bro. Come at me, bro. Hey, okay, bro, bro, you are coming at me. And Let's go, what's bro. Because that's a guaranteed way to lose health. Just by slamming into them. I guarantee um, so he says, hey James, here's the latest build of Deepstone Catacomb. Actually fixed a lot of bugs by watching the show. A few I'm not sure you guys noticed. No. Oh, I died. Oh, back to the beginning. Oh, and that time was a, a fairly poorly fought fight. Let them come to you. That's what I was trying. Yeah. Sometimes they come faster. I'm not sure if you've noticed, James. <laughs> But I'm not very good at these video games. <laughs> you could do it. I believe Often in you. Often I'll have an intent, but have no ability to translate that to the screen. It's strange, but it's tr it's true. Yeah, black and white. Oh. <laughs> yeah, don't don't put up with that that floaty bar. Because you don't have to. We've already established that, that is not cheating. We have. With both of our um, sensibilities about you. That's right. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Ha-ha. There you go. Um, overall, the game is basically the same, just slightly more polished now. I don't expect you to play this on the show again. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> just thought you should have the latest version. Well, thank you very much, Mick Muse. No! A uh, A.K. Mick Crocker. Oh, no. Did you die? No. No, but I took unnecessary damage uh -huh. due to uh, lameness. <gasps> Yay! And uh, and then the game threw me a bone with some Literally. meat on it. <laughs> Literally. And uh, I was excused. All went, my da, 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 da. Ah! <laughs> I did not learn my lesson. <laughs> ah! Uh -huh. Ah! <laughs> Much better. Um, bugs and issues I have fixed, which we probably didn't notice. I don't know that we ever made a comment about any bugs, because it's it's been a very solid game right from the beginning. The only level you can't skip is the next one, where you get the awesome sword. Um, players Not this one, but the next one? Next one. Ah! Big guy. Nah! <laughs> There's only one big guy, so it's okay. <clears throat> Player's foot got stuck on the bottom wall sometimes when the door shuts. Seems uh, seen this happen to Erlen once. This is fixed now. Oh. So you would enter a room. Oh, no, no. no! <laughs> so, you would, so you would enter a room and the door would shut on your foot. Yep, you always throw the switches. There's no like. There you go. There's no pattern, there's no like three switches that open the door in some way. So I get a bigger sword? Yes, you get a projectile sword. So as long as you do not get hit, you have projectiles. So I don't have a projectile sword. You do? <laughs> well, for a very short period of time. Yeah, take the, uh, the ladder. Um, and then it reverts back to the normal ass sword. <laughs> oh, oh you just my, got him. I lost my gold coin. Oh, oh. that's okay. It's only a ghost one. On a rare occasion, an enemy could get trapped in a wall and wander off the screen. <laughs> this should never happen now. Oh, interesting. Ah! 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 Put some distance between you. There you go. Hey, keeping your sword. It's, pretty good. it's hard to do. It is hard to keep that projectile sword. Nope. Uh, fire element. Ah! Oh no! <laughs> I knew I was doomed. <laughs> now you've just got a melee weapon. Keep your melee weapon. <laughs> uh, fire elemental should no longer ambush the player when or he or she enters the room. Very good update. That was, I felt that was very cheesy of of the game. Yeah. Because yeah. you could not avoid getting hit, especially if you had like the, the nice ah! the nice sword. 
and all of a sudden you lose it, and it's not your fault at all. I noticed that the uh, the uh, projectile turned into a coin. Did it? Was there two items? No. Nope. The moving? That was where the coin appeared. Uh, and only one? Oh, weird. Hmm. Well, I only had to fight one person. Oh, yeah, plus, plus a projectile. That's right. But his I didn't have to fight it. His pro oh, oh no, you don't have to fight it because you can't kill it. Yeah. Interesting, it chose that to turn. I mean, they both are enemies, but it, sh it should give you two things. Because ah! there's two enemies. Oh, nothing turned no, into it. it it's random. It was random. Random it was placement. Just, it was coincidence. Ah! No. Oh, no, no. Just gonna die. <laughs> just. No, I'd rather die. Just die. <laughs> oh! Game over! Hey, it's your turn! <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we are on. Yep. <laughs> uh, rewrote some AI. Rewrote some AI. Might be unnoticeable, but enemies will behave a bit more smoothly. One of the monsters would sometimes cross paths slightly with another, which caused a small amount of flicker. Fix this. There should ah. never, ever be flicker now. Didn't notice that. Added more code that attempts to clear a small path for the player as they enter a room so they aren't taken uh, off guard as much by a close enemy. Nice. You should still be quick to respond when entering a room, though. Many bosses must be defeated now. Doors closed. You can no longer run past them. Oh, you could run past them before. Nice. Nope, <laughs> Not anymore. If you were lucky. I think we even talked about that. I think so. It's like, I well, think we yes. talked about it and you objected. Yes. You're all like, what? This is too easy. That's not right at all. <laughs> <laughs> Make it harder. Make uh, this game harder for me. Mummies and orcs should now truly only fire in the direction they are facing. Cheers, Mick. Ah, well, thank you very much for those updates. Very good updates. Um, addressed some of the issues that I brought up, I think. There we go. The key is, keep all the lives. Keep all the lives. But you do get a lot of stuff when you get to the dragon. Like, you almost get up to full. And I think you can have four... Four lives, maximum? Should I read the uh, original info line? Yes. What? Original info? Oh, that. There. No, 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 no. It's okay. fine. It's, it's stuff that we've already read before. That's what I thought. That's and I, I just read. put it there just in case. Ah! Got hit. That's okay. Such a Darcy move. <laughs> Ugh. Just pull the Darcy. Out. That wasn't a very Darcy move. Ah! That was more of a <laughs> screaming. <laughs> yes. Maybe it's not even a Darcy move. The Darcy move is to get hit. And when one gets hit, they go, ah! Ah! It's all part of one thing. It's part of the package. Should I even bother? I, I, I think the levels are exactly the same. Are they? I Maybe. think they are. If you kill them, though, you might get an extra life, right? Or can you not get those till uh, later? I don't think you can get those till later. I don't think they appear till later. Ah. But they are worth points, and ultimately, eh. points... I mean, you might not be good enough to go for points, but uh -huh. ultimately... No, I didn't have one of those Oh, no, you on. didn't. And when I did, it was a different room. So it is randomish. Pretty cool. Very, very cool. Oh, ladder! Yay! We're Woo! level nine, four. This is the Fireman mini boss. Slide. Oh, see, there's another one that you didn't have. That's right. Yeah. Hooray! And now it's time for the magic sword. Oh, nice sword. Give me the good sword. The two-handed throwing sword. <laughs> Right. Of unlimited. Ah! ah! No! Oh, they oh! Can, ah! And they throw things too. No! Ah! Ah! Get out of here! <laughs> Terrible. No. 
No. Oh no! Oh no! It's, it's forced, the hat yes. wearing orc. That's what. Wow. Yeah, a little kind of flat hat. No, it looked no. Like it had an extra hat on it. I almost oh, went down you the almost ladder. Missed your... Oh. I'm not going there. Oh, oh my god! That guy just. Ah. What the hell? Is it on? Am I in the wrong level? Ah! Shoot it! Oh yeah, I can. But I only have a sword. Bad sword. It's harder. Oh, full health. Um, hmm. Hmm. Upstairs. I don't, I think that was a dead end. I'll kill it anyway. Hmm. Yep, that's a bit like cheating. No! In my honest opinion, the shot should not disappear when you re-enter a room. That is too cheap. I don't think so. Well, it's, they already, we've, we've I mean, talked about this before. Yeah. It's... It is part of the game. It's part of the game that when you go in, sometimes the door locks. Yes. And therefore... That's the balance. That, that's the balance, I yeah. guess. Yeah. It's like, well, you could try what, and re-enter the room. But I suppose might... what there should be is a reward for staying in the room with the shot. Uh, yes. Yeah. That would ultimately balance it. It would, definitely. Where's the ladder? It's here. I have the good sword. Now... Ladder. No. 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 Maintain health. Ah. Ah. Yeah, still have There we go. Ah. Oh, no. No. You piece of crap. <laughs> Took my... Bloody projectile. Got it back. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of here. Like, there's no point in staying on a level. Unless, unless you can get a health. Yeah, unless you can get a health. But um, And because the, the bad guys get harder. And yes. So it's worth so it to fish for health. If it, yeah, because it'll be easier. Health or uh, hit points. Yeah. The chat thinks I'm cheating when I do that. <laughs> Some people. Oh! It might be a good idea that using the weapon costs energy or cannot happen rapidly, so the simple sm button smashing won't work. It's it, the thing is uh, because when you take a point of damage, you lose it. Yeah. I don't think there's any reason to weaken no. the sword. No. There's so much fear out of losing that sword, and it and you lose it. Quite regular. I mean, I don't like it. I don't like. I don't like it when you lose the better weapon because you are a worse player. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna say that it shouldn't be that way because I don't have all the information. I I just know that I don't get to have such weapons. Um, <laughs> yeah. It's like you're being. Uh, it's even harder when you suck. Yeah. And that's it's, that's weird. You get punished. That's a little weird. <laughs> Um, it's no, not the it, only game that happens, though. So. If you play this game, uh, you will experience that it is very balanced with the with that projectile. Like, you don't feel that it's overpowered, because these guys come at you, and you lose it. The thing about the projectile, though, and going in and out of the room when there's a projectile, it does bring into question the, big bad guy. the point of even having the projectile. If, when you go in and out of the room? I mean, it... It re going in and out and sometimes being trapped, it means that, yeah, it's like, you could, you could, oh. uh, you could get the equivalent by just reducing the number of times that the door locks, but, uh, oh. or reducing the number of times that there is a projectile, and then, uh, always locking the door when there is one. Oh, right, yes. And then that would be the same as... Uh, <laughs> always locking on the one. Oh, that would be the same back. as, um, what do you call it? Um, doing what we do now, which is go in and out and tell the door locks. Damn it. <laughs> <sighs> Give me an extra life. What? Where's his... Oh, it's the next level that yeah. is. is um... Treasure room. So that's the first 
Yay! First dragon. I need one more. I just need a health. And health. now I need another life. And I will be 100% full. Because the next... Hey, there we you go. got it! Because the next dragon is not... I thought there was no chance you were getting that. Me too. <laughs> I definitely felt that as well. I think there's one more room. Oh yeah, I forgot about that fast way. travel. Oh right! <laughs> I forgot about totally that too. Is that pressing... It. What is that? It's I, pressing the button. Hold the button and you yeah. move faster? Yeah. Totally forgot about that. It's so good for... Okay, so press the button. So it's if you press the button while you're moving. If you hold it. Hold it. Hold yeah. the button. Yeah. Okay, so stop. Yep. Now do it. Uh, like press it and then move? Or do the moving and pressing. You can move. Okay, so it does anytime. shoot and then you move fast. Yeah, yeah I mean, okay. yeah. So you could start. Yeah, there's no way of avoiding a shot when oh, you move uh, fast. It's not that that's bad. I was just wondering if every time I pressed the button I was moving quicker. And oh, maybe that explains a, why I run into people. There was a, There is a slight delay. Oh. There's like a um, one and a half second, one second delay. If only those gold coins were real. That's right. That only They are real, but you have to chip them out of your screen to get them. <laughs> That's right. And they're just gold plated, so your screen is <laughs> worth more. <laughs> so don't ruin your screen. L thinly gold plated. With gold leaf, right? Okay. No! Get away from me! Oh you bastard! Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, ah, better. There we go. Nice, easy scorpions. And it's good for, oh yeah, it's good for collecting the coins, too. Mm. That's where you want to use it. Oh, this is where I started. Okay, guys, I don't think you have projectiles yet. Do these goats ever get projectiles? I think they do. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh. Come on, come on. No. Doesn't want to die. <laughs> Doesn't want to. Come on, you want to die. <laughs> oh, another non life. Boo. Do you get anything from it if. Do you get points? points? Okay. I think okay. so, that's good. But you can't save up past four. Oh, another one? Come Wasted. on. Two Why bonus didn't you lives. die twice so you could take advantage of those lives? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing, I don't waste lives like that. I, don't waste <laughs> I know, you use every life that's given to you. That's right. Another good thing to note about this game is that characters cannot pass each other. Yeah, that's right. Um, that is especially helpful when there's fire on the screen that goes back and forth, because you know the boundary boxes. Um, and you can use that to your advantage. Because you know two guys can never attack you at the same time. Well, they can if you stand between them. <laughs> so always stand, like, ab equal to or above the other guy. Like that. Like, I'm safe completely from that um, scorpion by staying below there. And by the, from the fire, because it only goes back and forth. Hooray. Poor dude stuck up there. So the fire is actually a, a good thing. Because <laughs> it's not much Maybe of a threat. Maybe it has to ambush you. The fire? Oh, no, no that's so No, because then it's just automatic. Then it, it's just a punishment. It's For like, entering a room, yeah. Like uh, A random punishment. Yeah. I smite thee automatically. For going in this room, it's like a trap. Which, in some games, is valid. You know, having traps uh, that you can't avoid. I don't know. But usually in those types of games you get, like, trap detect kind of thing. So you can avoid them if you're cautious. One thing that uh, bugged me about uh, second edition uh, Dungeons & Dragons was uh, things like traps. Uh -huh. And how just epically deadly they were. <laughs> it was were like, like oh really? you have a you make a fortitude save oh you didn't make it oh you're dead oh my god <laughs> wow like, like bad traps like really bad yeah traps. and it's like it's like Ooh. as i recall 
the fortitude save ah. is a god damn it is a uh, you know you're likely to fail as opposed to likely to <laughs> likely succeed. Likely to fail. <laughs> ah. No, it's a small room. I guess it was going to happen. Likely to fail. Ah. Sorry, you've just been wasting all those, uh, all those meats and... I know. Your lives, anyways. I have been. Just throwing them away. Oh my god, I'm gonna die! It's hard to Meat? Don't no, oh, yeah, I don't want that! That should give oh. you full life, oh. shouldn't it? Nope. <laughs> I mean, I am inclined to wish that it did, but it's totally yes. fair that it doesn't. It is. It's a single purpose. Why didn't that one move any further? The fire? The guy at the top? Yeah. Because he was bound by the fire. But he could have moved towards you. Oh, he could have. He was... He's, oh, okay. he's silly. Oh, I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see why you went up there. You don't have a gun. Yeah, For a yeah. I oh, I see why you're asking that now. Oh, my God. Oh, you died. <sighs> now you won't have to waste that next strawberry or m m a mushroom. A mushroom. Mean. Yeah. Yeah. But I won't get it now. It, it's going to be like super stingy with the mushrooms. For sure. It's like, oh, you need a mushroom now? Well, you don't get any mushrooms. None at all. Oh. But at least I got my... My, uh... Projectile back. Here which back. makes me... Yeah. You can and always get that it. back on demand. As long as you have a life left. <laughs> That is a, uh, a harsh way of getting it back. Yeah. But it's actually a strategy yeah. against the dragon. Yeah. Oh, his, well, his you might dying. as well go in and punch him a few times just to, uh, to, try. Just to get used to it. <laughs> get used to the punching. Because he will supply you with all the death that you require. <laughs> He's giving it out freely. Remember, you can shoot hey. on an angle. Oh, yeah. That's right. Actually, that is... A great strategy. Thank you for the reminder. Oh, these guys don't shoot. Okay. Your buddy's over there, dead. Oh, you do it. You are shooting. We're waiting. We're waiting. Ambush. That is the advantage of the um, projectile, is that you have this advantage of the diagonals. That these guys in don't. In addition to the, yeah. Yay! In addition to the being a projectile as well. Oh, everybody's so enthralled, enthralled by my plan. <laughs> they don't want to talk. <laughs> ah! Shoot. That was a fake. Ah, you, oh, you oh, got your life there. Full again! <laughs> Hooray, I am invincible. <laughs> oh, no, that's where I started. Oh, there's only one path. Ah! 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 Oh! Diagonal. Well, there's not a lot of room to... to oh, you... I don't need that! <laughs> Nothing. What you needed is to oh. uh, die and then get that. That would have been the equivalent yes. of getting more health, but that is impossible when you're presented with it because you would lose it if you exit the room and you can't kill yourself. There's yep. no self-destruct button. You could eat it <laughs> and then... Just going for the ladder. Uh, you, yeah, yeah, you could eat it and then die, but you might as well try. I, I, I was talking nonsense. Right? <laughs> oh, now I've got back. You got back, there you go. <laughs> well done. Well done, you. These guys are a nice break. Come on. What are you doing? How dare you try and hide in the... in the rocks. The purple rocks. Whatever they are. Didn't you say you're invincible? Well, well still there, alive. that was the beginning of his problems. <laughs> yes. Uh, bragging in video games is uh, almost a guaranteed death. For me, it is. Anyway. <laughs> Yay! Ooh. I don't need that now. No. I need the other thing. I You're need so easily mushroom. angered. Easy to anger. 
So there's just this video game sense of entitlement that you that you have. <laughs> no! Great, I want everything. Give it to me! I just need the ladder out of here. Nope. Nope. What? Didn't you already... No. Oh. Don't need to go in there. You flicked it back by me. Uh, yeah, I did. That doesn't help you took much. It and you didn't even complain. No, I took it without complaint. There we go. Oh, it's the dragon. Well, I've got three lives. It's not the worst, and I do have my projectile. So let's give it a try. I don't think the second dragon is much harder than the first. He doesn't seem to be. He's bigger. Oh, he is bigger, but... I mean, it ah! seems like oh, he's yeah. eaten... He's had a lot more food, you know? Probably takes more hits. Um. Yay! Two down. One plus other things to go, because I'm not sure what's after that uh, third dragon. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. No! I need a life. And I need some food. Food is achieved. Now I need a life. Get a life. <laughs> Yay, full! Hooray. And everyone rejoiced. Oh, there's another room up there. Get my coins. Points. Gotta get those points. Yep. Because if you finish the game... You will suddenly care how many points you <laughs> yes, got while you did you it. <laughs> if you don't finish the game, points mean nothing. Because... <laughs> If somebody you can't beats celebrate you, your points when you're dead. I think if somebody beats you by like one level, even though if they have more points, they beat you. Like if they make it to level four, it doesn't matter how many points you've got on level three. It they made it further. It literally comes down to what, like who's, like what your goal is. And the reason I say that as well, I didn't think of this Because if your goal now, is to get points, then you haven't, then you haven't won. True. But you could keep going in and out of a room, kill two of the guys, keep going in out of three, just keep killing do everything but killing one. Uh, we will see, but I'm quite sure you do. You only have 18 points. So. Ow! No, okay. no points. Ah, so that is not true. You get points for the coins. Yeah. So that my plan would not work, not work at all. It is good. Um, sometimes you'll get a board game. It doesn't happen very often anymore, but you would get a. There's a thing in board gaming whereby. Yes, sorry. Um, there's there'll be bonus end of game points, and uh, every once in a while there would be whoever had the most points gets more points, thing, <laughs> and that's not good. <laughs> Whoever gets the most points gets more points. Well, it's that there's a, like you can get they a have thing, enough points. <laughs> they get a thing that's like oh the more that it, it's like you get these multipliers as bonuses, uh, and one of them was oh whoever has you have the most points, so you get this. And that's like the most bonus points or the most points overall, because that's pointless. You get a multiplier, and yes. there'll be lots of things that you your card might be a multiplier for. Mm -hmm. If the one that in in place is you have the most not you have the most frog juice but you have the most <laughs> victory points yes then you're getting points for having the most points and that's not and that yeah that's stupid yeah yeah you're winning here win more oh my god that room's too small ah who cares about that room uh, ah they're really aggressive oh my god aggressive 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 it's like the roots near my house very <laughs> the roots are aggressive very aggressive they're roots. popping up and coming at you you're on level 19 oh i think it's 24 22 20 20 20 something 23 24 uh, i think it's an even amount oh you bastard yeah you killed him too good and there's, there's no meat left on his bones no no meat to give Oh no! This is 
very difficult. There's only like one passage around. Oh. Ah! Death has occurred. Yes. A death in the family. Yes. Oh, good. Oh, it's closed this room off again. What are the chances? A hundred percent in this game. Ah. Uh, okay. Do it. Deal with this. Hooray, the mead. Always too late. No. No! No! Better. <laughs> Doesn't quite reach. So can you get ah. the the fly oh disc thing that you that you avoid? And three, you can. Uh, yes. Yes, you can. It's terrible. It's a bad time. And the fly disc thing can go everywhere in the screen. It's not... It's a dead-end room. Oh, what no. What are you doing? <laughs> Wasting. Wasting energy. But actually, I did okay. Uh, no. I need to go down here. Ah. 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 Nice, easy fire. No, I don't need that. <laughs> okay, we're good. Here. Ah, die! Rage! Rage! Die! The fire is funny. What is that? The fire. fire. It's just like a thing goes back and forth. It's, it's, it's good. It's disruptive. It's disruptive at this point when you have two other things to fight. It is. Um, and you don't have the projector. It takes up space. It takes up space that you can't move into. You know, it's just... True. Now I need the meat, and it's going to give me coins. The fact that you can deal with it. Uh, uh, Sorry, you didn't get meat, or did? I did not. Yeah. Which is. Which is sad. And it makes me sad, and this guy's sad. It looks like he's got a scarf all around his neck, doesn't it? Because like, he has no he's mouth. A, he's a burglar, maybe. <laughs> he is raiding this whole place. He's killing people in their own home. He's like Conan. He's a, a fighter thief. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, he's the invader. He's he, These people were doing just fine. They don't kill each other. They don't attack each other. You don't know the story. <laughs> I mean, sure, you might be right. Oh, mini boss. Uh, give me meat. Oh, God! Okay. <clears throat> ah! Okay. No, you bastard. Oh! Two lives, and not full health. This is not good You're full feeling. health now. Uh, Otherwise you wouldn't yes. have been shooting. That's true. Oh, I thought he hit me. But you, then you kept shooting him, didn't you? Shoot now and see. Oh yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, yeah. Um, I thought I lost it. You, you thought you were going to get hit. Because mm. I heard you make the "Oh, I've been hit" noise, and then I saw you <laughs> shooting, and I was like, "Oh, it That's sounds right. like someone's crying wolf." Uh huh. When they don't need them. Uh, I'm gonna have to go through all the rooms because I need those lives to. Yeah. That's what you do. Because there's you like do it. not one dragon. There's like. A second guy after the dragon. And yeah. so it's like two dragons. <laughs> Better to die out here attempting to win the game than to... Oh. Yes. Than to no going into the dragon you're room doomed. knowing you're going to get yeah. killed. Well, it's not a 100% chance, but it's a very good chance. Because if I don't have a projectile, I will need to die once on each of them, possibly. Oh, God. Ah. <laughs> Caught. Caught in the corner. Keep shooting. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Uh, is this the end of this our is the hero? End. My only friend, the end. 
Oh, I had a projectile. What the? F am I doing? Yeah, I'm doing that. This is. Yeah. Wasting opportunities. I don't know why you hate opportunities so much that you waste them. Angle uh, shots. Oh, I you can't. can't do angle shots. <laughs> you can't do angle stabbing? No, you can't. That's too dangerous anyway. Don't leave the room. You might get a projectile. True. No, like the bad kind. <laughs> yes. And remember, you can shoot those projectiles. That's true. So if you're facing the opponent. If you're centered on them, then... Oh, oh, you got the thing. That is very good. It's actually technically better than meat. Yes. Because you have technically. the life you have left, mm -hmm. plus a whole other one. Yeah. I didn't technically. I didn't literally. really think technically was required. <laughs> Not really. It just is better. Now you got that. Now you Back just need to... <laughs> two more mushrooms and you're gold. That's right. It's down. Ah. Good. Got that back. Uh -oh. oh, whoa. What? What? Weird. The angle that's... shot. Right. That's really weird. Is that a bug? I flashed. Yeah. I flashed. Uh, that's a bug. That's definitely a bug. Mick, Muse, timestamp, whatever time it is. <laughs> 12.46 p.m. <laughs> well, you're not typing. You have well, to get why? your mouse there. Get your mouse in order. <laughs> That's probably a better place because it's in the chat. It's an advantageous bug for me, but, uh... Yeah. RC7E said they thought that happened earlier, and that's probably why that's... you you made the, the crying noise. I am almost certain that's exactly what happened earlier. Because I swear I got hit, I didn't... Yes! One more. Please, just one more mushroom. So I have a fighting chance. Mm. 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 I don't know what level I'm on. Uh, mm. I'm full. No, I should go for it. I'm full. Yeah. I don't know if it's the dragon level. Yet. I think it is. It always looks like this. Uh, or the you always come down and the little thing looks like that. Yeah. Oh, with only one twist. Oh. See? Terrible. Boo! Oh, what do you mean, see? What were you saying that you've confirmed I, by that? I don't know. The universe, <laughs> universe is against me. <laughs> when I had full everything and I was like trying to keep it. And, it's the universe. You know, You're right. It's not me. Okay. You got your life. Very happy. Thank you, universe. Thank you, universe. It gives and it takes. <laughs> it gives even when you're bitching and moaning about it. That's right. Okay, good. Screw um, you, universe. Universe can't hear you because universe isn't a real thing that can hear or, or, uh, or speak or know or react. Yeah, or, yeah. It just does. It does what it does. Give me that gold. And you got uh, oh. your oh. health. That was the, the one thing. that was the, the first one that you didn't see was health. Okay. Yeah. Save point. <laughs> <laughs> save, save the point. Um, I am absolutely full right now, and I need a ladder. Oh, not this! That's not what I wanted. It's the oh, it's the opposite of what I wanted. A trapped room with. You, the thing is, you you put too much. Uh, want it to get out of here. Mm. I just want out of here. It gets an opportunity to get out of here. Mm. <laughs> mm. I just want I just a want perfect meat. situation. <laughs> I want the meat. You might get and this it. is a, 
a fairly easy level because it's scorpions and they have no projectiles, so... Well, it's nice, but... It ain't no cigar. You know, I just don't want to be trapped in a terrible room. Now I'm going to keep going. I don't want to attempt... No! It was fine before. <laughs> it was fine and I gave it up. There we go. Ah! No! No! You didn't have your projectile. No. Not that you want to lose hit points, but... No, I don't. Oh. No! That's better. Angry scorpions. That's not a ladder. That's not a ladder. Uh. Ah! Ah! Damn it! Ah! ah! Damn it! <clears throat> this is nothing, but it's an easy nothing. So. No! Oh yeah, didn't, didn't finish that level. <laughs> I just ran through it. Ah, out of alignment. Oh! Here we go. Jeez, this game is a roller coaster ride between happiness and anger. Great. <laughs> it is. It is. It is such a balanced game. It's really, really good in that way. You don't. It, it gives and takes at a moment's notice. Mm. Okay. This is the dragon, I believe. I think so. Beautiful um, the torches. Fire torches are yeah. awesome. Really, they are really awesome. Nice. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Big arrow. I don't have projectile. Oh, is that what it is? An arrow? Okay. Like this. I thought this. it was a cross. It could be. I mean, that could be a cross too. But I always thought it was like go this way. But actually, I don't know because that's where you start on the level. But does that yeah. always point to an exit? Oh, because sometimes the exit's down, below. Yeah, so it must be across. It's like pay attention and see if it ever if it points the other way. Because it's technically a starting point. That's yeah. where you're starting. Yeah. But that one is pointing towards a dragon. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna have to beat this dragon in the head, die, go back in with a projectile, lose the projectile, keep beating him in the head, and then get it. Unless I'm really lucky on this, because I have less than half life. Oh, he's huge. Not that that makes a difference. This projectile's not. Yeah. It, is, it does make a difference here, because I don't have as much room to stay away from him. Mm -hmm. Remember, diagonals are available. Yeah. I'm, I'm just he's saying, not as he, shoots, he shoots on a non-diagonal. Therefore, diagonals can help you. That's all I'm saying. That's true. But you found his head. Oh, and you got him. And I kept it. Oh. Oh my god. This guy moves with intent. That's like oh, a sandwich. I missed it. Oh. He went up the screen on the left. Bug. He's like a meatball. You got him. Oh. It's not over yet. I only died once. Well, I think it is. Yay, no. it is. Treasure room? Twenty-five. Yay! Extra life. No, there's one more thing, I guess. I think there's four levels. Four. Maybe you just get a, a, a treasure room. Could knows? be. Could be. Nope. Just need a meaty. Oh, those coins are going crazy. You do not want to be caught. <laughs> they do. Don't go down the ladder. No. In this game, luckily, if you touch, it's a beautiful thing. You touch the ladder, you start climbing down. You can jump off. It's so good. Because in most games, it's like, oh, you go through the door, you're done. Yeah. You can't you can't go back out from the door. 
What? No congratulations? That was hard. <laughs> I know I made it look easy, but... <laughs> <laughs> that way. Oh. I think. No. See, that doesn't point no. towards it. Yeah, yeah. So it is a, just a... It is a cross. It's a starting point. That makes sense. <sighs> nope. Here's more. Level 26. Weird. Oh, I, oh it's more, more treasure. More treasure. Oh, here we go. We ready? We're ready. I finished the game. Yay. Let's just take a little tour first around her, her castle or her place. She's going to turn into Kill a lich. Kill it. Oh. She's going to turn into a lich mm. and murder you. Should I kill it? <laughs> the first time here? No. No, no probably no. not. Maybe do it another time. Points. Oh, you got points. Yay. It was right decision. He just keeps running. Oh, let's turn up the music. Oh, is that it? That was. <laughs> Dee doo doo. Hooray! Yay. First try. Victory. Victory's mine. Excellent game, McMuse. Thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to play it. Um, this is going to be a bestseller. <laughs> this is going to be amazing. Um, I think. I can't remember what level two and level three is. I think level two is harder and level three is randomized. I think so. In what way randomized? Uh, rooms. Oh, rooms no. Rooms are already different. Oh, not randomized. Randomized levels. So you don't know whether you're, whether you're getting a hard level immediately or an easy level. Like you get the hardest yeah, I, level. I guess that's oh. perfectly fine. And level three is continuous. It's infinite. That's what that is. So you can't win. No, you can't win. It's just points. How many dungeons can you get to? Yeah. So it is kind of a new game. Like, there's no dragons. Yeah, there's yeah. nothing like it. Or maybe there are intermediate dragons. I can't remember. And I think level two is... Everything's just harder? Yeah. Just a little bit harder. Oh, they take double damage. That's what it is. The enemies, you have to hit them twice as many times. Oh, yeah. that's brutal. Yes. It's <laughs> a lot harder. So theoretically, it takes pretty much twice as long. Well, and is presumably your, it would take longer than twice as long. And you die more. A because lot you more. die more. <laughs> a lot more. <laughs> yes, thank you. Um, so I don't know. He's never set a release date for this or if he's going to put out a demo. Um, this is definitely going to go on cartridge because this will... It's so good. Do, yeah, and it looks really good. This will do gangbusters. Yeah, the, the graphics, the sound, the gameplay is... Uh, above and beyond um, a lot of games. Like, this is a really, really good RPG. Congrats, now you can rest. Mm, nope, now it's Mega Mania time. <laughs> oh, I lost, lost, lost my cohort. Um, so we're going to next play um, an Activision game for a patch. And it is Mega Mania, subtitled A Space Nightmare. And I didn't really notice that it had a subtitle till today. Um, because I was putting it on the Harmony card just in case the cartridge didn't work, which it does perfectly, which is great. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, yeah, it's A Space Nightmare. That's kind of funny subtitle. I just thought it was straight up called Mega Mania. Where did my tablet go? That's so funny. This tablet? Oh, you stole it. No, you handed it to me. <laughs> you didn't just hand it to me. You, like, requested that oh, I really? take it. Oh, for reading yeah. much earlier. Yeah, long time ago. That's why I forgot. It was eons ago. It was so long ago. You uh, had to delete that so that you had enough room in your brain to defeat the game. Yeah. There was, there was pressing matters that needed to be taken care of, and this tablet information, this temporary tablet information that's not in long-term storage, had to go. It had to go. <laughs> um, so this game is very, very straightforward. Shoot the bad guys, avoid getting shot. That seems like a very common uh, goal. <laughs> it is. Super, super common goal. Does Hello, this, Pick. Does this type of joystick not work? It's old school game, where you have to press the reset. Um, I you have to press reset you. to start it? To start the game. Yeah, this is from the 80s. Why isn't the controller over here? 
Um, because I would... Who says that? Someone... Someone says that Someone before. says that, like... <laughs> a lot of the time. They've said it at least twice, yeah. In Back in the days, yes, that's how you would do it, because you had to do a bunch of control stuff. Hey, buddy! Um, because, but I have a bunch of equipment there. Otherwise, I would. Go over there and press the reset button for me. Yeah, cats need to earn their keep if you want to get fed at 4 o'clock. I mean, the best we could hope for is that he would go over there and fiddle with the buttons. We really <laughs> don't want him doing that. Fiddling, no. Um, so, yeah, you'd rather eat fluff off the ground. <laughs> Mega Mania was made by Steve Cartwright, uh, and it was released September 1982. <clears throat> and the point, the number of points we need to get for a patch is 45,000. Which I think for, uh, myself is very achievable. Oops, nobody can see it. There we go. Sorry. Oh, I died. You turned, you, they got there just in time to see me. <laughs> to die. be defeated. And you can steer your shots. On, on oh, they, 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 they follow your ship. They stay yeah, in so they stay in line with your ship. So if you want to kill the thing, make sure your ship is in line uh, with the enemy is one tactic. Um, made by Steve Cartwright, who also made Barnstorming, uh, Mega Mania, Sea Quest, Plaque Attack, Frostbite, which I defeated, Hacker, Hacker 2, Aliens, and Air Rally. Um, so we will eventually be playing bar Barnstorming, uh, Sea Quest, and Plaque Attack. Um, as they are all Activision games. Um, and I, uh, this is, was one of my favorite games, um, of the original, uh, line of Atari games. Oh, this is, uh, from Activision. Bad scene. It is, so clear kind of a center in this level for yourself. So that you can, ah, so that you have a maneuverability area. Um, oh yeah, there's a commercial I have to play. So we'll play that after um, your game. Because there was a music commercial put out for this. Mega Mania is an Atari 2600 game designed by Steve Cartwright and published by Activision in 1982. It took six months to develop the concept and another three months to fine-tune the game. It was released for the Atari 5200 and Atari 8-Bit Family in 1983, ported by Glyn Anderson. Mega Mania ah. is similar to Sega's 1981 arcade title, Astro Blaster, which we'll have to take a look at as well. Both games have nearly, nope, nope, don't wreck the couch, nearly identical patterns of approaching enemies, with the player relying on an energy meter. Also, the player's ships are remarkably similar in both games. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. We're going to take a look at the, um, <laughs> the commercial. <clears throat> for oh, Mega Mania. And see how it is. Do, do, do. Let's go to the link. There's the commercial. I'll tear that off. Bring it over to the my screen here. So here is the commercial. Hopefully it doesn't blast too much. I'll turn down the volume at first. Make sure it's not too loud. Activision presents Mega Mania, a new video game Atari video a video nightmare because it's impossible to stop. Designed by Steve Cartwright for Activision. Did that work? Oh, I didn't see anything. What's going on? Hear music, no video. Yeah. Okay, let's fix that. Uh, <laughs> one second. Yeah, black screen. Ah! Oh, no. Okay. No. What's happening? Okay, let's... I know how to fix it. Okay, I'll bring it over to this screen. And then you'll be able to see it. Yeah, why do we have infinite? That's <laughs> awesome, but It why? is awesome, but not what we want. Okay. Activision presents Mega Mania, a new video game for your Atari video computer system. One, two, three, four, Mega! Oh. 
I don't think the ship looked like that. Yeah, I don't think it looked like a guy with a guitar playing a bass with a guitar. No, it didn't. For Activision. I mean, similar-ish shape? Oh, it was fine. I, I That wasn't a legit complaint. Yeah. Oh, and Deep Stone Catacomb is not... There we go. Mega Mania! A whole bunch of things are crazy. Close that down. Uh, okay. So that was the, the band The Tubes. And they were actually... They're still around. I don't know any of their songs. They were formed in 1972, and they're still playing. That is a very long time. I wonder if their music has any years. resemblance <laughs> to that, to, to what their music was then. Not that, because oh, that was for a commercial. Who knows what they? Yeah. Who knows how much that reflects what they were like at the time? Uh, the genres are rock, hard rock, exper experimental rock, proto punk, and glam rock. So I mean, that music fits in with that wide array of <laughs> genres that they put there um okay you have to kick the reset switch to play this game yes mm -hmm. you do oh i see that's what he did in the commercial ah uh, 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 yes well you do <laughs> <laughs> which is annoying i'm glad um homebrew it people... is weird though that it took so long for the button to be the reset switch like yeah like you have this in your hand already it's, it's it i it's not weird it's interesting it's yeah it's revealing that like it wasn't automatically the go-to because i mean like it's not like new it's not like the atari was different it's just that they chose to use the reset button and yeah. maybe there was a reason for it maybe like they designed it and yeah. then they were like well we have the reset button why not let's use it? use it it's right beside you otherwise we look like idiots for putting a reset button and I, I'm sure in the Atari manual on people who are designing games for Atari yeah, games, like, yeah. you have to use the reset button to reset the game. You use this switch for this, yeah, this switch yeah. for this. Yeah, I got it, yeah. The original controller cords were shorter than my arm at five years old. Yeah, they were meant to be, like, right beside you. Oh. Like that. So that had the long cords these did not yeah, yeah. and then it completely changed around and look at this yeah yeah fairly long cord okay can you reset please yep and see how well i do are you ready i am ready reset go you do get a little bit of time yeah i was trying to be dramatic anyway i realized that it didn't work <laughs> <Dramatic>. <laughs> Yeah, that was the that was the reason I died as I was trying to get a, the hold on the oh my bullet will follow where I am and oh, yeah, I, yeah. Uh, line up that where I am and then you get shot because you're paying attention <laughs> you're not, to the wrong thing because you're trying to learn how to walk <laughs> yes instead of run. dodging bullets yeah dodging bullets is and the things is like a huge concern. cut a hole and you have to go back and forth. Oh, that was ah. one pixel off. And the ones you don't shoot go back wrap to the around yeah. again. Yeah, 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 and I yeah, think in a different cool. order, though, and not the same. Really? Uh, I think they were the same. Yeah, the same pattern? Mm -hmm. I mean, it makes sense. Why would they bother changing the pattern? But... Ah! Creates complications. This one is like uh, Space Invaders shoot the bottom ones first is a good tactic. Like, I have not played this in probably at least 15 years, possibly 20. So I am nowhere near as good as I was. But once I do... Oh you know, my god, I'm dead. You, got, you, you know, you gotta say that there's a thing about Atari games that is different than other games. There's something about... Like, they're faster. They're, I, don't know, I don't know how to describe Ugh, it properly. They don't last as long. No, no. What I mean is, like, the graphics on here... Yes. Even though the, the, the resolution and the graphics is not very high... Yes. It's fast and clean. It's fast and clean in a way that other games like there's almost like are all the other games have the slightest bit of lag or something and 
Because there's something about this, like, it lacks any lag whatsoever. It's yes. entirely, like, it now. It can't have lag. It's designed so it's impossible to have lag. Yeah. And that is what makes it so awesome. It's because the screen is drawn in real time. Yeah. There is no uh, video buffer. You can't, like, calculate the screen beforehand and then go display screen. Um, everything is drawn at a constant constant 60 frames a second, even though it's not really, but it is, um, on NTSC. So that's why it seems so clean and precise and... Oh! oh I knew I was going to die yeah. there. Yeah, you're kind of I knew before it happened. I knew! <laughs> I screen... thought, oh, you're going to screw this one up, Pollen. <laughs> the screen left your mouth <laughs> before you actually got hit. Like, oh, it's coming for me! <laughs> I am having difficulty getting used to the. Uh, You're doing way better. You're doing way better than last time, which is always something you should always aim to achieve in any video game is improvement. Oh, just caught that one. That's why it's slower on PAL. Uh, because it, um, the programmers didn't take into account those extra ten frames that needed to fit within the second. Ooh. Bit of a room for yourself. Oh, kill that one. Oh, it came down twice. Damn it. They always come down twice. Yeah. Boom, boom. Uh, you know what? The whole. Uh... You can't hold down the button. If that helps. The it... whole bullets following where you go yep. is royally screwing me. <laughs> is it? <laughs> oh, yeah. I, can I think you can change that. I think it's an option. Oh, well, it seems like it's the way you're supposed to play the game. I'm not trying to... It's the like, default way. Uh, I just mean that, like, that's something... It's not a complaint. It's an observation. <laughs> like, that, that's, that's the thing. Oh, I mean. Activision did lousy PAL conversions. So they just lazily just changed 60 to 50 frames and, and let it go. So everything's just automatically slower. How did they do that if they programmed it for 60 frames? Oh, I see. The game ran slower. Yeah, the whole game ran slower. Because oh, it just calculated wow. frame after frame, right? It didn't care That's what... Interesting. So, were they uh, literally easier then? Um, if slower is easier, then which it usually is, um, yes. They would be I mean, easier. often the way they make it harder is by increasing the speed. So, so you'd really have to have a different... Uh, that was close. A yeah, that's the difficulty, a, is that you can, high only you can only you can only adjust your aim in one direction. Because yes, they move the at the same speed as you. Yes. And that's that's the thing that I'm having difficulty with. Right, so if you, they've already passed you, you're done. Yeah, like, you have to, yeah, you have to be you ahead have to of learn them. to go ahead and slow down, not yeah. speed up to catch them. Yeah, that's weird. You stay a little bit ahead of them and then adjust. Yeah, that's what I mean. You have to be yeah. ahead and then slow down a little bit to the right spot. Yeah. God. These aren't even the hard levels. <laughs> the hard levels are coming. <laughs> it's nightmarish patterns of movement. Nightmarish! Oh, I thought this was going to be easy. But my... Well out of practice. Oh my god. Oh no 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 no. <laughs> Those guys like you have to stay in the center. What's the patch now. goal? 45,000. 45,000? Yep. Hey, you're more than 10% the way there. You're almost 20%. Yeah. I mean, you're not really. You're about 15%. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. There you and go. you get the points now. Come. Now you're almost a quarter of the way. Is it 45? Piece of cake! Ah, whoa, 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 whoa. These guys are very Don't be alarmed, I'm gonna sneeze again. Okay. <laughs> Warn the audience. Darcy is going to sneeze. I mean, I might not, Headphone but... users, be warned. Talking about it... <laughs> just prevented it. Prevented it, yeah, it's like that. Is it good that it was prevented? Probably not, because it's still necessary. Okay. Oh, no bonus points whatsoever. Do you normally get 
bonus points? Well, oh, yeah, yeah, you got them last time. That's where you get your big points, right? Yeah. And is it because it took you too long? Yeah, my... Oh, my, oh um, the energy bar. Energy went way, What way, happens way when down. you run out of energy? You die. Oh. So you so do you have, have a time limit. So the time limit is shorter on this one than it was on the last one. Go ahead. Um, I just took longer to do it. I seem to remember we're not we haven't duplicated levels yet, so I seem to remember oh, a level that's really, 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 really hard because the patterns are cr that was terrible. Are you? Uh, no, you do it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you do want to get really get these easy levels done quick, or every level. Not the early one. The later one was the, when you completed the purple one. Yeah, you know, it was a lot. So there's multipliers, I guess, as you go up. There must levels. be something. Because uh, you got... Well, I don't know how much you got this time, but you got... I... Like, what's the patch goal? 45,000. Yeah, you, that's the same oh. question. <laughs> From a long time ago. Um... I watched some videos online, and a good player can get get the patch in four minutes. Four minutes. Because they are shooting... You're not a good player, is what you're saying. <laughs> no. Because they just shoot, 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 and get those kind of bonuses, right? They Seems kill. like dying they... might be nice. <laughs> well, it... yes and no, you can only die so many times. I know, but if you die with one guy left, you get a huge bonus, don't you? Oh, yeah. Because does your... Does your uh, power go up? So it seems like dying is the way to get it in four minutes. Uh, um, I wouldn't recommend that. But you, you could. Mean? Maybe you could. Like, die just before a really tall, uh, high level? Like, goes yeah. fast, far I don't know what the rules are. It's, I, Damn it. I, I, can't, I can't help but think that that isn't how it works. <laughs> <laughs> well, the person who got... You know, the doing doing world records and stuff are not done. That's the thing. Maybe they're uh, maybe that's the way to beat their world records. That's all I'm saying. In terms of time. Oh my god. I can't even you're distracting. I mean the best way to get the world record is to never die ever. Yes. Of course, but if um, if it could maximize your points. Like this should be a very good one if I get it anytime soon. Oh my No signal. What are you talking about? Oh, for us. What is going on? Just one second. Don't reset it. What's the signal? Camera. Oh. Did a cat do something? Did it overheat? Did somebody... <clears throat> oh. No. Oh, it's pretty hot. It is pretty hot. No, it still has power. I was like, what is that? Where is that? <laughs> it's a photo on the camera. <laughs> I thought it was like go. the pillow. Thank and I was you for like, us know. <laughs> it's like zoomed in on the pillow. Okay, now it can reset. See, I was bragging, going, oh yeah, easy stuff, easy stuff. <laughs> and that, my friends, you never should do. Never brag about your video game prowess. Not many points. On the first level, so there is a multiplier. Including all the points that you made during it, you got 1,500. Yeah. So, exactly, get... so we'll, we'll, if we pay attention, we can see. I, I failed to pay attention last time. I have to wait for these to wrap around. Yeah. Or again. Come on, dude. Where are you? There you are. Ah. Uh, it's mostly on this side. See, it's such a terrible bonus there. Yeah, you got... Your total points that time was less than your total points in the first round. <laughs> this should be... Decent. A little bit more. I don't know what that, that was. was. That was a lot more. Your total points for that one was like more was like 2700 like a double double my score. you almost doubled the the score from the first two rounds that round 
I think it's like your the level multiplied. Like level three gets a three times multiplier, like something like that. Except the level two uh, was less. Than, your total was less than level one anyway. Well, I had no time. Bonus, that's why. Yeah. It's terrible. Time bonus. Hmm. Something like that. We'll look at the... And it, this one is particularly hard because they go from being wide to <laughs> quite thin. To one pixel wide, yeah. And they're so low! Oh, he does go all the way to one pixel, doesn't he? Doesn't spend much time there. No, he's mostly wide. Mostly wider than one pixel. Okay. Mike Bloke is uh, bragging about how he can play it for ages between the lines, what he's saying is, come on, man. <laughs> come on. I know. I know. <laughs> I agree. I agree completely about the come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh-oh. Oh! No excuse for that. You have to wait for them to come down because they're all still in pattern. It's like... It's like all of the guys are there. Yes. And they've just turned them off. Which is uh -oh. entirely possible. Some games are made that way, where they just make them black. And they're all still there. Well, and they can't they be there and you don't have to turn them off because they're not on the screen? Uh, I mean, why would you have to turn them off when they, they're off the screen? Like, color them black. But, but what does it matter what color they are if they're not on the screen? <laughs> I'm saying they're drawing them, but they're in black. Uh, I don't know. Now, these guys move a little bit over because there's not. This one is relatively easy to level because you can kind of clear out a bit of the space. Well, I realize it's going to jinx you. Uh, you are halfway. Oh. Points wise. Why did you tell me that? <laughs> I can't live in fear. <laughs> I refuse to live in fear. Oh it, oh, it moves to the left. No, it doesn't. It's right. Oh, it's it such a terrible score. It does seem to shift. Is this the first level again? No. Oh, this is very different movement pattern. Yeah. It's, uh, repeats only the, uh, the, the characters have been used before. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, another life. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> no, we don't want any nose accidents. Whoa, that was close. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, I'm needing a good bonus. Come on, yes! I think you get an extra life every 10,000, if I've been observing it correctly. No! Oh, come on, just finish this one off really quick. Get a good bonus. Yes! Yeah, you did. Oh, and you made the patch. Did it! So your boasting wasn't entirely nonsense boast. Oh my god. Just in time. Oh, did I get a new light? I didn't even see it. I must yeah, take when the you said away. yes, when you said yes, yeah, I got a. Life. I thought you were celebrating the new life that you oh, got. Oh no, because I... you did get one at that point. No, I got the patch. Another patch, right. another Activision patch. Um, the only one that I have not got in the games that I have played. Did I get the Stampede patch? I don't know. I think I did. Um, is the pressure cooker patch, which is oh, so hard. Oh my god, so hard. Okay, now you have to get it. <laughs> Let me just check on the stampede. Did I get the stampede patch? Oh, I did. Yes. On the 28th of June. Ah, is it, it has that demon attack level. Um, I want to look at the game it referenced. The original arcade game. 
that it said, oh, it's a ripoff of this arcade game. Astro Blaster. Let me set that up. I can't believe you put your tablet on the chair like that, and it tilted like that, and you were fine with it. There. Even, even worse. <laughs> it was unintentional, and I kind of looked away pretty quick. But I know the sticking power of the tablet and the chair combined will have it hanging off. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay. Now I know the screen will show us what we need to see. Okay, so we're going to take a look at uh, Astro Blaster by 1981. And this was put out in 82. So, um, by Sega. Fighter pilots needed in Center Wars. Play Astro Blaster. So yeah, you can see the movement. That's why I like putting on that TV. So we're not looking to the to the right. So this is in the arcade. Yeah, this is an arcade version. Let me jump ahead to where he's actually playing. So there's sound. Seven, seven, six, extra fuel. Four. Oh, you can get extra fuel. Oh, and the bullets don't follow him. No. Whoa. This level is very similar to the one I played almost at near the end of my game. Where the... Oh, much better graphics. <laughs> it's an arcade, which is not too surprising. So you dock and get fuel. I mean, there is a fuel recharge on this one. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah things in clumps moving in patterns down the screen shooting shooting statue oh my whoa yeah very cool Three ships oh half the screen's off why is it uh oh because i'm normally one in 10, 1920 by 1080 mm. anyway you guys can kind of see what's going on there <laughs> Yeah, it looks like a very You good, can't see uh, the cool graphics of the ship that's shooting, though. No, you can't. Let me, uh... Let me fix that. Temporarily. Actually, I can fix all of them. I just reduce the screen. There we go. There, now you can see everything. <laughs> And it's got great uh, voice in it as well. I'm making a 2600 Astro Blaster. Ooh, wow. Yeah, this definitely can be made on the 2600. Nothing I've seen cannot be made. Like the text there, um, the bullets going down, obviously the enemies will have to be reduced in color. Not those. Those can be made. Because they're all on different lines, the colors. Mm -hmm. Um... Those should be fine to make. You might have to get rid of the yellow dot in the middle, unless you're like really tricky. You could do some flicker possibly. Um, that's no problem done. Like once. Wow. <laughs> that's deadly. What? No, they're not killing him. Uh, a lot of the people that play these games cheat so that they can show you the higher levels, because some of these games are super hard. Yeah, they're cheaty cheese. Yeah. So you'll notice that they don't die <laughs> a lot or ever. Well, they were dying before, but yeah, I guess. Were they? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, it's got a temperature, too. Uh, there's a lot more going on to this than, uh, than I thought. Yes, I is supposed to. Yeah, that's awesome. That Are you making a uh, proof of concept version, or are you actually going to go for the full game? Atari 7800 as a homebrew Astro Blaster. I pushed for more speech. Ooh. Or are you going to do all the uh, speech in this too? Because I suppose to is the uh, the speech and music guy. That's, that would be amazing. Uh, that's going to be awesome. Uh, Nathan Storm. Actually, Dragster was a ripoff of Atari's arcade drag race. Oh, interesting. Full game with speech. Wow. That's going to be awesome. Yeah. So there's a lot going on in this game. But very, very doable. 
I mean, not very doable. It takes a lot of skill. But now that, you know, you've seen Gala can be, Galaga can be made, a lot of things can. Yeah, that's totally doable. Even, like, high-res graphics, you double it up. And... Very nice. Actually, I want to read out the manual, because I want to know about the, the, um, the scoring in Mega Mania. So I'm pretty sure it's like multiplies your fuel by your level. Uh, scoring uh, point value of each attacker first cycle only. Okay. Uh, after the first cycle, each object is worth 90 points. Bonus points. You receive bonus points for each energy unit you have remaining at the moment you destroy the last object. Each energy unit is worth the point value of each attacker in bonus points. For example, in the first wave, if you have 30 energy units left after destroying all attacking hamburgers, you'll be awarded 600 bonus points. If there are 8 and 80 energy units in your energy bar, 80 energy units in your energy bar at the beginning of each wave. Oh, there are. Each energy is the point value of the attacker in the bonus points. Oh, okay. So the bonus points are based on the point value of the enemies. Mm. That's why it changes all the time. Yeah. Very cool. Okay. So, we accomplished the Royal Wii. Um, no. <laughs> uh, we accomplished what we set out between to do. Between us. Between the two of us. <laughs> um, that's so funny. I've seen people just state things in that way. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It was a team effort. Um, uh, we accomplished both. Uh, we got, we finished uh, Deepstone Catacomb on the first level, which is what I wanted to do. Second mm -hmm. level seems, yeah, that, that would be very hard because I'm guessing the dragons would also take double damage that that would it's be hard very to hard. muscle your weight it's hard to just like tough it out and just sit there and fist fight with it which is <laughs> yes, what it is uh some of the ends of the battle seem to be you're just like okay just just hit the yeah. button hit the button hit the button yeah i don't think i ever killed any of those big bosses like with, with grace yeah with gra <laughs> from a distance yeah i always had to get in there and stab between the scales yeah. work my sword in <laughs> And then uh, Mega Mania, awesome! I got another patch. Very excited about that. Uh, pressure cooker. Uh, I don't know if I'll return to that next. I got about halfway to the points, and when I started the game and I started playing it, I went, "Oh, I can't get this patch." But then by the end, I'm like, "Maybe I can get this patch." <laughs> it's almost how it always happens with the harder games like oh i'll never get this this is way too hard <laughs> then i find patterns and it's like oh that's how you do that yeah you figure things out um some other games coming up oh pitfall may i might i might do pitfall next and then go back to pressure cooker because um pressure cooker was was difficult it was probably the most challenging one so far star master yeah i do have to put more on my list now uh, because after Pitfall, I've I've exhausted my list. So, um, more suggestions, please, for um, Activision games, Activision patches that I need to earn. I have done Keystone Capers, Stampede, Freeway, River Raid, Mega Mania, and I've attempted Pressure Cooker, and Pitfall is next. <laughs> so, any any games that um, maybe Hero, Hero, I'll probably put up on the board. I don't know when I'll do that one. Because that one's like a platformer, flying underground shooter. It's really, really good game. But I bet it's hard to get the patch. Because it was one of the later releases. So they probably went, we're giving out too many patches. Up the difficulty. Yeah. <laughs> four patches in Star Master. Oh, God. I'd have to space that out. Because I don't want to do all four patches in a row. I'm watching with the sound off, so I have no idea what's going on. Patch. <laughs> Got the patch. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Um, here, here's a clear. 
<laughs> there, I think that's clear enough, right? but I got the patch. <laughs> so the next, uh, the next show, very exciting one. We're going to be playing Boulder Dash for the first time. Finally, uh, I've wanted to play this game before I even started the show. I was trying to find a copy of it. Right. There was a copy that was kind of doing a world tour. Like somebody said, hey, I'll lend out my copy to anybody who wants to play it. Um, but you have to review it afterwards. Like you have to give a review. Right. Unlike the Atari Age store huh. or something. Not that other people can buy it, but just to, to do something like a payback yeah, yeah, yeah. for having it. And I was just a little too late. Like it wasn't timed up well. The last person got it and they're like, anybody else? Anybody else? But I wanted it for the show. Right, right. But the show hadn't started yet. So yeah. I'm like, uh, <laughs> this is not going to work. <laughs> so I didn't know how I was ever going to get the Boulder Dash game. Um, Boulder Dash in the next show. People, Thrust is helping Nathan Strong. <laughs> That's with very his, kind. With That's his audio kind. issues. <laughs> very considerate. That is very nice. <laughs> Here, I'll do, uh, do some visual aids. Boulder Dash next show yes that's right speak next slowly next and he will, show he will know what you're saying <laughs> maybe you can lip read next show this one next show <laughs> so funny um yeah but we'll be playing this um i want to thank andrew davy and thomas yench and al yaruso um for uh being able to get me a copy of this and it's wonderful and there's lots of background in, story to this um we're going to go into the history of boulder dash uh as it made its way through the ages uh different platforms it's been on take a look at some videos of old boulder dash games for um the, the initial platforms it came out on um reading through the history of it and uh there's been rumblings of was it of a new version a boulder dash for the 2600 rumblings and i believe what was it was that i don't think it, no maybe that was a different game there was some game that was on the store it was limited i don't think it was this maybe it was a different game where they said oh we don't want to put out a new copy of this because it would piss off the people we said would be this would be yeah, yeah. limited to 200 yep. and that's it we'll never make any more I don't think it was that because that's more of a copyright issue. Mm -hmm. um, but then they went, they proposed for that game that if every single person that bought the copy agreed <laughs> that we can make new copies, <laughs> then we'll make new copies. Oh, that was Boulder Dash. That's hilarious. <laughs> um, and I, and I think the consensus was everybody that did have a copy said yes. But how about making it different? Like, did graf different graphics, maybe different levels, yeah, yeah. different cover art, so it's not the same? Yep. So that would keep their copy very unique. It wouldn't course, be just yeah, be a, yeah. oh, yep, this is copy number 201, it's, 202. That's... It would be version two, issue number two, or like reissue. I issuing, issuing more copies when they've changed can make the previous copies worth more rather than less yeah because i don't know if that's their concern but like that's it can it's, it you can never tell a lot of a lot of limited edition games people do buy them like if you because get, they're limited if you can't get any copy of a thing then you might just like give up any interest in it at all but if yeah. you can get a cheaper copy of it that might make you want the original more very true um yeah, but it, it is dismaying that you can't buy it. It's it's frustrating, yep. and and it's be great to have uh, something that people can buy. Um, but also, you know, not a lot of. Also, the issue is that you literally cannot buy. Like people don't sell them. Like people in this community buy them because they like the games, mostly not to buy them to resell them and all those copies that were bought to resell have probably been resold to collectors yeah, and yeah. now it's like no it's a lockdown yeah yeah. and maybe one comes up every couple of years because somebody's like ah, i'm kind of done with all this and they sell their whole collection 
Nathan Strom, my video keeps cutting out. So right now, nobody is moving, browsing on an iPad with a bad Wi-Fi. Oh, Nathan, sorry to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> Thrust, version 1.1. I think it would be good to uh, reissue with all new levels. Um, so, because then you not only sell to the people who never got a copy, you will definitely really? sell to the people who had a copy originally too, because they're all brand new those, levels. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you can start them off easy again, put them in order. Don't make them like a continuation. It's like, oh, now these are like the super extreme levels. Um, so that awesome. works for uh, both people. Hey, Dan Kitchen, welcome to the end of the show. <laughs> <laughs> I was, yeah, Marina Foot came in at the last five minutes on the last show, as I said last time too. <laughs> um, yeah, we're gonna be playing Boulder Dash in the next show. Um, along with Andrew Davies' new work in progress game, uh, Sokoban. Um, it is a box moving game. It is a puzzle game. Uh, we'll try and make it exciting. Um, puzzle games tend to fail <laughs> miserably on the show because, not because they're bad, not because they're, well, they're a bit boring for people to watch, but mm. it's because you can't really talk and play because uh, you you're thinking you have to concentrate fully yeah and the only thing you can really talk about is your strategy i guess in the game and that's kind of eh, kind of boring but um i mean it's no degradation to the game but we'll try and make it exciting and try and play it but that's a hard game um but that we'll be doing a double header of andrew davies game andrew davy games in the next show but we'll put uh, sokoban at the end and see how long we last um, being able to play it. But now it's in a good form that uh, it's playable because he started, he just released it like a couple days ago. And he's been making improvements. And the he started it with the core uh, programming from Boulder Dash, which is a little guy moving around. Mm. So it's like a really high resolution version of box moving. Because usually in the 2600, it's like a, bo a block moving another block to another block. <laughs> it's all just blocks. Yeah, yeah. But this is like, there's an actual guy there. He's got animation and all of that. Yeah, we're not here to milk people. No, but it's not milking if no. you make something they want. Milking is is like oh you want thing. this. It's making them want something that has no value. What milking would be is like oh we changed the cover but not the gameplay at all. You want the new cover, don't you? It like <laughs> yeah, it provides, that would be closer to milking. Yeah. It provides no benefit for the person buying it other than if they don't have it, if they have it already yeah, yeah. yeah. but buying ma by making all new levels this is like something somebody would want it's like oh new levels for older dash that's yep. awesome now i get to challenge myself with new levels and yep. like add in maybe a couple of hard levels and i mean easy levels to start off with and then really hard levels at the end so that people who have completed the first one have even more challenge yeah yeah, yeah. But yes, we are definitely not here to milk people. This is um, all fun. Nobody's making any money. <laughs> so good luck on milking people. It's, it's a small community, a small but dedicated community. <laughs> but we just reached uh, 350 subscribers on YouTube for uh, the Zero Page Homebrew nice. channel, which is pretty pretty damn that good, actually. That seems really good to me, yeah. Um, considering the size of, of the community. Yep. Um, it's really amazing. And all the numbers across the board, people watching live, people um, on Instagram, people on my, the Facebook, and people on YouTube. It's all like up, 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 um, increasing in speed. Not much, but you know, it's, it's gathering steam. And I hope that's due to the quality of the content <laughs> and not just people. I don't know what the other reason would be. <laughs> if the quality of the content sucks, nobody would come. Um, but I want to thank everybody for continuing on with us a year and a half, pretty much. When did we, when did this silliness start? Um, close to that. Yeah, I think it's pretty close. Yeah. Um, oh, camera shut down. It is hot day. It is a very hot it day. It doesn't feel that hot to me. Um, I, I would look at my watch. Watch, what temperature is it? And my watch is like, well, I can tell you what it is outside. <laughs> so now everybody's in the same. So now Nathan has nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nathan. Um, no alternative? No alternative. Um, so we started February 9th. 
So add six, that's eight. Almost almost a year and a half. Huh? So next month on the ninth would be a year and a half. If you go strictly by months and day of the month. And not by three hundred and sixty five days in a year or whatever kind of weirdness. Come on. Come on. Come on, camera. Oh, camera is camera's upset. Poor camera. Oh. Oh, there we go. Okay, so at least we'll be there for the end. Um, so yeah, we um, the next show is the Boulder Dash and Sokoban, and then the show after that on the next Friday we will be playing the final version of Championship Golf. Uh, Two-player uh, version has been added to it, so he has said it's the final version, unless there's big bugs, I guess. And it looks like a lot of fun. Um, we did play the single player version, but now it'll be uh, two people going at it. 108 Fahrenheit in Furnace, Arizona. Wow, that is hot. <laughs> Furnace. Yeah, Phoenix is very hot, uh, hot place when it becomes summertime. It's uh, actually the. It's actually been cool here, relatively cool here. Relatively, but we actually not just relatively. It's been like in the evenings. It's actually cool. It's very nice, we, in the and evenings. we haven't had any actual hot days this summer yet like not no not blazing genuinely, yeah no, no like oh what are we gonna do we're dying here, we're dying here days Let's see what we usually says. have a few days that people feel oh, like yeah. we're dying even though it's not that bad it's 26 we certainly haven't had 40 degrees for uh no i don't, know. I don't think we've been up above not 30. this year for sure no but i mean before we don't even normally no, we get that get hot, up to 30 so. Uh, but of 40. course, Europe doesn't normally get up to 40 either. Yeah, so we could get that. We're a very or special spot. We're a very special spot <laughs> in Vancouver because we have mountains and we have ocean, and it kind of keeps the temperature within a certain range. Yeah. Um, so we're usually pretty good. Um, Grand but we do have hot summers. I mean, we warm. Relative. No, actually, genuinely, it's actually here really nice here in the summer. Like, it's very it's summery here. Very in the summer. nice. Looking forward to Boulder Dash Grand Trooper says, I haven't had a lot of time to put in it since I shelled out the, the dollars for it. My enjoyment to payment ratio is very skewed right now. 106 in Germany. Oh my God, you poor people in Europe. Europe is cooking right now from what I've heard. Not much AC. That's the problem here as well in Vancouver. Yeah. Nobody has AC and yeah, you just die. <laughs> yeah. it's, if it's hot, you just have to deal with it. Lots of people are starting to get AC because, mm. especially on the island, uh, there's a lot of people that heated their house with wood. Like, oh, yeah. that's what those houses were heated by yeah. in a lot of cases. Yeah. Um, and they're switching to heat pumps. And the benefit, mm. a side benefit of a heat pump is that it's an air conditioner as much as it is a heater. Oh, Like, yeah. it's just the same thing, only in reverse. And so it can do oh. both. And so by installing a heat pump, you get cool or you get a, a air conditioner. Yeah. Oh, that's very interesting. I haven't heard of those. It's not like forced air air conditioning though where so is it it has a bunch of water and it cools it or heats the water and blows it's not the water air. it's not water it's something oh okay but it's, i don't but think it's, it's not water. a furnace and it's no. not air conditioning so you, ha you know when you see outside you see like a box and it's yes. blowing that's that's a oh. uh, uh, heat pump okay so and maybe so it's kind of like store, a for an instance, outside has fridge a heat pump outside and the only thing coming inside is little tubes. Yeah, because you don't so want you the noise. You don't have to do any vents or anything like that. Oh, okay. And then there is there is noise inside because you have to have a inside. You have another exchanger. Oh. Where the like like a refrigerator. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it has a. Compressor. But the pump is outside. The compressor is outside. Okay. So the right. main noise is outside. Yeah. Yeah. Thrust says right. Only vents. So that's that's good. So all the equipment is somewhere else. Um, yeah, so that's all I've lined up for. There's going to be a short break in mid-August uh, because I will be going to Texas, Dallas, Texas, to show my film off to a bunch more people Sweet at the Women Texas Film Festival, um, which is excellent. They've invited us there, so we'll be doing Q&A. So if anybody lives in Texas, um, hopefully it's cooled down by then, but I don't think so. <laughs> it's, does it cool down in Texas? Actually, I guess it does. But it's hot everywhere in the U.S., South U.S. now. So yeah. I hope it's cooled down or has a, a cool week there for us. But, you know, I, we're, we'll just go from air conditioner to air conditioner to air conditioner at yeah. worst. Yeah. 
So thank you everybody for tuning in. Uh, Ground Trooper, Thrust 26, uh, Tiki Dan K, Nathan Strum, uh, Mike Bloke. I didn't even notice that name. Welcome. That's a new name to me. Don't recognize it. Welcome. Uh, RC7E and Paler26, uh, Dan ABC, uh, Six Sweet. Oh, she was there for my. Um, that's Tanya. Uh, there ah. for my uh, win, my patch oh, nice. win. Thanks for tuning in. Back to work now. <laughs> um, well, we play games. <laughs> uh, Mallard Games. Auto mod has been enabled for this channel. Interesting. Hmm. Did somebody say bad words? Um, Trey guy. Cheating. <laughs> yeah, cheating's a bad word. Maybe it's a gaming yeah. kind of thing. Uh, Phil Sand sixty nine. Uh, Splendid Nut. I don't know. If, uh, Ninf. Fandom Man 69. Great show, Dan ABC said. Just jumping uh, Mc, in. McMuse uh, just... Uh, oh, welcome, McMuse. We beat your we beat your game. On level one. On level one. And level we... two. Me. Um, <laughs> we, and I think I beat it with three lives left. I think. Because I didn't I die know. on the second boss. Yeah, I think, I the, think so. The yeah. second in a row boss. Yeah. So I did pretty good at the end. Um, congrats on the patch. Thank you very much, Repentless VG. Um, and thank you very much, McMuse, for making that game. Yeah. Um, we'll definitely return to it again uh, once it's out on cartridge. So put it on cartridge. It deserves to be on cartridge. That's an awesome game. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. And then we'll play the second level and die. And we'll also play the third level and see how far each person can get. And that would be, that would be a fun thing. Um, oh, awesome! I'll make sure to watch it later. Yeah, definitely. I think it was a pretty good, uh, pretty good run through. I did get scarily close to dying. I think it was down to one life. Yeah, I think you were. And one. like half health, and I was like, uh, I'm not gonna win. I'm just not gonna win. And also, uh, there was a couple of times where you flashed from damage, but didn't. Oh lose yes. Your, uh... Yes, Mick Muse. Um, two times, I think. Yeah, one was on a. Uh, when mini, was that? Twelve forty-six or something yeah. like that. Uh, at twelve forty-six, so forty-six minutes into the show, take a look. Um, we type something in the chat, so look for that in the chat. And one was against a mini boss, which I thought, oh, that's kind of weird. I thought I got hit, but I still have powers to shoot. Um, that was a mini boss earlier than that, about half an hour into the show i don't and know and to be clear he did not say oh that's weird he said ah <laughs> i did i did scream and then and then i was like oh i still have my weapon okay <laughs> and then we thought maybe i didn't get hit yep. but i was very sure i got hit so there's two instances for you to take a look at for a possible bug which is to say you didn't actually not because you cheated uh well Sorry. it let me cheat so it's part of the game <laughs> it's part of version four but I think I would have still been f fine without that, even if it, I did get hit. I probably would have recovered enough um, that it would have been okay. Um, oh, let's scroll back down. So thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Oh, yeah, I'll look into it. Excellent. And we'll be back on next Wednesday with Erlen at 11 a.m. Pacific Time, 2 p.m. Eastern, 6 GMT. Memorized all these silly numbers. Ah. And uh, so, yeah, we'll see you all next time. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Uh...